What's going on YouTube? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the NECA Cult Classics, um, Die Hard, John McClane, Rooftop Scene, Action Figure. Yes, that was quite a, uh, quite a mouthful there. <laughs> But um, I really like this figure. It's really cool. I love the Die Hard um, story. If, I guess if that's the the word you would use, um, you can't use trilogy anymore because it's more than a tril trilogy. So um, I'll just say I love every Die Hard. Um, basically, grew up with Die Hard. So when I saw this, I was like, Oh my God, a John McClane figure! What the balls! I gotta get it. So, and I have had this guy since about, I don't know, about 2010. So he's, I mean, he's significantly old. About around three years old. So, this was, uh, a, a, I mean, if you were to compare a NECA figure of, like, right now to compare it to this, you would um, obviously not care for this version, but when I bought it, I was like, oh wow, that actually kind of, you know, a little bit resembles um, Bruce Willis to a certain degree. But he, yeah, he definitely comes pre-posed in here and he comes with a little stand this is from his rooftop scene with uh, Carl above him on the launch pad for the helicopter. And he's shooting his way, I believe, through the door. Um, I believe that's part of the scene when he's shooting, either shooting at the other two shooters while Carl's on the launch pad, or he's shooting at the door trying to get out uh, from the roof. But anyways, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, I don't have the packaging, unfortunately, and I'm not too good with editing online yet, so... <laughs> I don't really have a, I, I can show you a picture. I'll show you a picture really quick here. This is basically what the packaging looks like with him in the package. That's just off the internet, so. Like I said, it's an older, an older figure, about three years old. So, but uh, as far as articulation goes, he's extremely limited. It limited, 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 limited. Wow, I can't talk today. Limited. There we go. <laughs> Third time's always a charm, right? <laughs> but his head moves left and right barely, and that's all you're getting. Other than this pose, I mean, that's really all you're gonna be have him. That's really all you're gonna have him look is uh, basically this pose because it wouldn't really make sense for him to be looking over here in this odd, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. He just looks like a weirdo. But, yeah, not a lot of movement in the head. Um, the arms do swivel. Let me just move. Oh, boy, this thing is... All right, his arm does go up. Uh, but, uh, like, really, other than this, I mean, you're really not going to get him into too many poses. Other than his pose that he's meant to be in. But, um, yeah, his arms can do, they can't do a full 360. This one kind of, no, can't do a 360, sorry. But his arm can, they do swivel. So there you go. Uh, he doesn't come with another gun, but is unfortunately molded into the upper torso. So, no Beretta for you, McLean. It's painted on. It's a nice prop, though. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, no articulation in the legs at all, except for the feet. They are on a swivel here. I am not even showing you the feet. There we go. They are on a swivel, they do move back and forth. Uh, I guess I could take my base. There we go, oh boy. He's been on here for a while, there's almost feet prints on there. But uh, his feet do swivel back and forth here. And he does stand pretty well without the base, so. If you don't like the base, you can stand him on his own. And 
pop them back on the base just because just because it's a pretty cool scene that scene on the rooftop there but as far as actually I'll take them back off I changed my mind <laughs> take them back off and let's take a look at some of the detail now to a certain degree he does look like John McClane or Bruce Willis whichever you'd like to call it but to a certain degree I would say from certain angles like maybe right there <laughs> maybe maybe from a distance he looks more like John McClane I would say around this distance he you could see John McClane there or, or I keep saying John McClane you could see Bruce Willis right there right there maybe maybe that's that's the best side for Bruce Willis there but not so much dead on as you can see here he kinda uh, it's just a little bit off keep in mind neck it was still a uh, still getting them right back then this is a older figure so I mean eh. but from certain angles he does look like Bruce Willis he does have um pretty decent detailing in certain spots but some spots throw me off a little bit. Um, they, some spots just look like they're very painted. And this is definitely a figure, if you keep it far away, he looks he looks great. But when you get real close up, like I'll show you here, on his arm hair here, it just looks a little... I don't know. It just looks painted on. You know? It just looks like it's painted and it just looks a little off because it's like there's like no transition of hair to no hair here and the elbow and he's got a little bit of blood there as you can see his uh, his tattoo I mean his tattoo isn't the greatest it looks like it was just stamped on kind of kind of looks like one of those like uh, removable tattoos or washable tattoos but uh, he also does have, um, from the scene in the elevator, after he kills Carl's brother, and he's taking everybody's name down because he's listening to everybody. As you can see here, he's got a tally mark. Oh, i showing you the head and not the arm. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. I'll just do that. There we go. He has a tally list here, and he also has Hans and Carl, um written on his hand here so that is pretty cool NECA I like that I like the watch too it's a nice little touch it being upside down just like you had in the movie so I mean they were really trying um, trying hard with this figure to really make it look like he was in the movie and I think they nailed it but you know it's just I had he just, I mean, he's got a little bit of farmer's tan right here. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure he had that in the movie, but uh, I think it's good enough. He's got this nice, disgusting sweat mark going down his back here. He's got some blood spots over here and here. Blood on his shoulder over here. I think that's before he got shot in the shoulder. Yeah, pretty sure. But uh, he's got blood on his wife beater here. And some dirt, it looks like, like oil spots. There's his gun. And as you can see, he is married. So, back up, ladies. He's taken. Jeez. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> The other cool thing is that um, they do a nice transition from the the belt here because his let me get his hands out of the way his belt it's a nice little transition from his shirt going overlapping on his belt and the gun jeans don't really have they're pretty much a base color uh, maybe a little bit of a wash on it but. Other than that, his feet are not bloody. They are just regular feet color. So this is before he's, Hans goes, shoot the glass. <laughs> but, yeah. 
that is good old Brucey. And he does come with his MP5. So there she goes. MP5. Not MP5K, MP5. Let's get his hand back in there. Hold on to your gun there, John. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Much better looking. And yeah, what is your favorite scene from Die Hard? Whether it be, uh, actually, let's just stick with this movie for now. What's your favorite scene? What's your favorite scene and what's your funniest scene? Now, my favorite scene in this movie was when he throws the the body out of the <laughs> the window. Um, but it's... Um, oh, actually, I would say it's a tie between that scene, him throwing the body out of the window, and welcoming Al to the party. <laughs> but uh, the other scene was when he's getting shot at... By the two two guys trying to get the oh no it's the two guys with the detonators and uh, the guy's shooting at him while he's underneath the table and he's going next time you have a chance to shoot somebody don't hesitate and then he shoots him through the table and he goes thanks for the advice <laughs> that was a cool scene <laughs> but uh, my favorite line though is not from him my favorite line is when the co the police are attacking the building and they blow up the uh, I believe it's a rover or a tank assault vehicle and uh, <laughs> Theo goes uh, and the quarterback is toast that was my favorite line <laughs> that was so great whenever I watch football I just whenever I see a sack I go and the quarterback is toast and my friends start laughing because they know exactly what I'm talking about but uh, <laughs> yeah do I recommend this guy? Absolutely. If you're a diehard fan like I am, and uh, you you just want a McLean figure, because there are there, I don't even think there's any other McLean figure besides this NECA one. It'd be nice to get an updated version, maybe possibly a one from each movie. That would be really cool from NECA, because I NECA is great. NECA is such a great co uh, company, and they really push out uh, quality figures. But do I recommend him? Yes. Um, for, you know, I mean, he came out three years ago. So, I mean, he's not going to be the most posable. He's not like the new NECA figures that are coming out now. Like the new Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator uh, figure, which I am actually have brought pre-order. Should be getting soon, but... Um, I recommend him. Um, I'm... Uh, it's kind of hard to give him a rating because he's an older figure, but if I was in 2010, I'll give him a 2010 rating. How's that? I would give him, if I was in 2010 and I just got this figure, um, I would give him, I'll give him an 8. So, I give him an 8. Um, an 8 because of the lack of articulation, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I'm rambling on here. I wanted this video to be short, and it's not, like most of my videos. But, um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I will see you guys on the flip side. yippee ki motherfucker.